ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the show. Well, on today's episode, I kind of got a twofer for you, so... To the person who commented, I'm sorry I misplaced the comment. I don't remember which video you commented on. I no longer have the notification on my phone, so I can't go back and look at it. But somebody was asking me in a comment where I got all my dragon shouts. Because they had noticed I had a bunch of dragon shouts they've never seen before. And it's with this mod here called Thunder Child Epic Shouts and Immersion by Ke imported by Kegel Ports PSN. And of course he gives credits to... It's underneath the word credits and I'm not for sure how to pronounce that name so... I'm not going to read the whole mod I'm just going to read the features you guys can go back and read the entire mod description. See, features 29 brand new dragon shouts with multiple effects. Three abilities that make shouting more effective and fun. Learn new shouts by revering Kine and completing her tests of faith. The High Rothgar, High Rothgar Library. 24 color variants of the Greybeard robes based on an upgraded custom model. 23 pillars of the voice to power up your shouts several new weapons and items buffs and bug bug fixes to existing shouts now as to the pillars let's see here if I, pillars of the voice I'll do it this one for you scattered throughout Skyrim and Solstein are these mystic pillars inscribed with dragonic wisdom each pillar corresponds to one shout. If you have unlocked all three words of the shout, you can activate the pillar to gain a blessing that improves the shout. Only one pillar blessing can be active, just like the standing stones, at any time. When you activate your first pillar, a quest appears, encouraging you to find other pillars. Activating your second pillar marks all of them on the map. So... Yeah, learning new shouts, it's all... <laughs> Pretty much, my thing would be, learn. it's a bunch to it. You've got to complete quests, you've got to do things that are in favor with kind, you got to meditate in front of the statue of kind to gain new insights in the voice as it says learning new shouts you can learn you can through meditation you may learn the alternate meaning of any word you have unlocked as part of a vanilla shout gaining new shouts accordingly and upgrading them with additional words when you favors with kind when you embark on your journey you are only capable of learning the first word of each new shout in the above fashion. Before you can learn the second and third word, you must first gain the you must first gain the favor of the goddess Kine. Shouting, meditating, and completing quest objectives permanently increases the effectiveness of your shouts. This bonus can be found in the Champion of Kine ability under magic effects and may grant you a free dragon soul. Eventually the goddess will allow you to learn the second or third word if you have unlocked them as part of a vanilla shout. So that's part of it. So as I said, I'll let you guys read the rest of it. Which you should always do if you're downloading any mod. Please read the mod description. Saves you a lot of trouble in the long run. So, that's part of what I'm doing on this episode. The other part, um, wrong mod author, here we go. Let me go in here until 
Lux D. Rice's page. Here we go. And earlier this morning, I watched a video by Echo One Eyes Only showcases showcasing Imperial Castles of Imperial. Jesus Christ! I can't even talk today. Imperial Castles of Skyrim, Medieval Towers of Skyrim, and the patch for both of them. Now, after watching the video, I asked a question in the comments. I wonder if it would work with natural forts. Which a viewer by the name of Stumpfer said yes they do. But the natural forts mod kinda kind of looks weird. The forts look so big and out of place in my opinion. From far away the fort disappears because of the draw distance. The disappearance of the forts from a distance is super noticeable since they are massive. And I'm going to show you what he's talking about. Because I have all four of these mods downloaded and in my <laughs> ready to go. So I'm going to show you what Stumpher is talking about. So let me get out of here and we'll get into the game and I shall return. Fair warning. Okay ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. So, to start off this segment of the episode, I'm going to go ahead and show you where to find the High Rothgar Tower and the new Shouts. So you come to High Rothgar, and after you've been anointed by the Greybeards during the main quest line, you want to come up here. As if you're going to the, high, to the courtyard and take a right. All the way down this way to the library and down here you'll find a bedroom you'll find an amulet which allows you to equip ten different shouts which once you use a shout another one will take its place and you can recharge it or change the shouts here at the shrine and this is the Amulet of Mantras. So, come down here. We find different wardrobes, and they all have different colored robes of the gray beards. So, come here, and you'll find a journal. It'll tell you out all about this. Different word shouts. So. But in order to activate the meditating meditation, you'll come here. for a little bit meditated too long <laughs> and you'll get shouted at but if you catch it just right wrong screen you'll be able to unlock some new shouts And the more of the vanilla shouts you'll unlock, the more you can meditate, and the more you can unlock the next word of shouts. Some of these I already have <laughs> unlocked. I will showcase them on a different episode. I'm trying to cut short for time, so... Oh. But that's how you've get all this and what the mod does not describe or is that you'll get these neat little effects like my little turning into a ghost when I run to be able to see life auras which you can't do it in this room when I crouch Let's see if I can see it 
Yes, I can see it. And there's another one I just recently learned. You'll get a dragon aspect. You'll get the dragon aspect armor as soon as you enter combat. So, who knows? Maybe while I'm showing you what Stumper was saying about the draw distance. In order to do that, I'm going to come here to the Western Watchtower. So that was kind of a short video and explanation on that. Well, I'll do a separate video on that one later. Let's see what it's all around. There's quite a bit of life around. So, again, the so right there, you can see Fort Greymere. And it looks vanilla, right? Let's go ahead and walk up on this. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. I was just walking by, asshole. I wasn't even trying to talk to you. Ah, that's what he's talking about. See how the towers and walls just suddenly appear? That's what he's talking about, about the draw distance. And it's what happens when you have all four of the mods, like I do, installed and all enabled. Ah, there's another tower that just appeared. So. So that's what he's talking about. And I can see what he means by, you know, the forts looking big. Looks like something that Vlad the Impaler would build in his country of Romania during his reign of terror. Honestly, it does look more like a vampire castle than a fort. Ow. You know, since I've cleaned up my Skyrim, my landscape looks a lot better. Huh. Willows mixed with the pine and cherry trees, they don't, that looks nice. I'm not sure how far you'd have to go back to get it to disappear, but so far, I guess I haven't gone far enough. There it goes. I heard wings. It's just the wind fucking with me. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Yeah, just like that. now it's back to vanilla now it shows up so at a distance you're gonna see the forts and castles look as they do in the vanilla game until you get closer closer on them and then they'll 
mods will activate. That's what he means by the draw distance. So... So it's up to you. Use them. Use all four of them as you want. Like, like Stemper said, you're going to have some draw distance issues with it, so... Wait, what the hell? I can see the life aura of a fox, but I can't see the life aura of a mammoth walking around over there. You're kidding me. Can I get closer? Oh man. Yeah, I have to get closer in order to see. Why is it so. And the fox's life aura is brighter than the mammoth's. It's just like an outline. That's a rabbit. Its aura is a hell of a lot brighter than the mammoth's. Mammoths look like red fireflies from a distance whatever creature that is over there has got a brighter aura than the mammoth Tell me you're gonna go off on the mammoth. And yes, it'll stay active as long as there's an enemy around. There we go. Anyway, I just wanted to show the viewer the comment who commented about the shouts what it looked like and how to find them. Ooh. Wrong shout. And eh, wrong thing, I swear. Next, you're gonna be wondering how I have an infinite sh shout meter. You can find a ring or a necklace inside Aladon's ultimate armory. No shout cooldown. <laughs> or I think there's other ones that other there are other mods out there that will uh give you an infinite shout but anyway ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna go and I'm gonna finish some quests I have on here I'm gonna try to unlock some more of these shouts so I will see you on the next episode peace guys